They did, Antoinette, and just to set the scene for you, we are at the intersection of Columbia Road and Washington. You see the sea there behind me, and as Matt was saying, police are now in the process of taking down the tape. And as you said, as we've been reporting, police have a suspect in custody and a weapon that may have been used. That weapon was recovered at an address just on the other side of this intersection, further down Washington Street. And while we were at a secondary scene earlier this morning, we saw police officers running to another location nearby. We followed and we got this video of a weapon on the ground in a parking lot behind a home on Washington Street. We also saw what appears to be a magazine on the ground nearby. Police then brought in a canine. The dog sniffed and inspected the gun, then laid down next to it as canines are trained to do. Police then recovered the weapon, packed it up, drove it away. Shortly after that, as you saw live here on News Center 5, we interviewed the man who lives at that home. And here he is describing the scene from his vantage point. What I seen was, uh, it looked like it was two pieces, and it looked like it was the magazine taken out of it. That's what it looked like to me. You know, it looked like it was a magazine. I mean, obviously, I didn't touch anything. I just left it here, and then the police came, and they put the marks on it and took pictures of it. And to be clear, at this point, we do not know conclusively if this gun recovered a short distance from the school was the weapon used in the shooting outside of the Jeremiah Burke High School. That will be determined by ballistics testing. Reporting live in Dorchester, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.